14 to beat Australia in Cardiff. New Zealand reached their target with nearly five overs to spare to win by five wickets. Roger Two's one of their heroes, making 80 not out. Chris Cairns, 60. With Australia winning the toss and electing to bat, it seemed like a good decision against the outsiders from New Zealand. But it was the Kiwis who are in dazzling early form. Mark Wall was the first to go, trapped LBW by Allert. Australia's total had barely moved on to 32 off eight overs when Allert claimed another wicket, that of Gilchrist. That dismissal, though, brought together Lehman and Ricky Ponting in the middle. They took the score on to 61 before a brief break for Ray. But after Ponting was dismissed for 47, Steve Waugh didn't last long, brilliantly caught by Astle for just seven. Lehman had reached a creditable 76 when Astle made his third catch of the day. The bowler was Harris. New Zealand were chipping away. Shane Lee slow out of the blocks and run out for just two. Shane Warne had made 15 when he was bowled out by Allett. Australia then eventually finishing on 213 for eight. New Zealand started their innings badly. Mass Holland with an edge and out for five. And then Astle with a wayward shot. It was all looking ominous for the Kiwis at this stage. Shane Warne and his wife had given birth to their second child, then whittled out Macmillan. But after losing two more wickets, New Zealand started to dig in. This was a great recovery. Cairns with a massive six. The ball was lost in the trees and the Kiwis were starting to get out of the woods. Nothing could stop New Zealand now. Not even a spectator. In the end, Cairns went for 60, going for another massive hit. Bold Fleming caught Dale. But the damage had been done. It was fitting that Roger Twos made it a formality. This then one of the major upsets of the tournament so far. Mark Bishop, Sky News. Meanwhile, Pakistan